Hi there, this is Ranjit and I have this LG G3 and in this video I'm going to show you how to reduce some of the lag you might encounter on your LG G3 and first hand I would say that lag is something that differs from uh, person to person. Some people uh, are very picky about it but some people do not notice lag on their devices but if you notice some lag on the LG G3 I'll show you some of the tips using which you can reduce the lag and no yes you don't have to root your device to do it and these are very simple steps so just stick around with me. So here we have the LG G3 and I have made my tweak. So let me actually show you uh, the performance. As you can see, it's pretty fluid. Uh, and this is the app tray. And now if we just also invoke this multitasking tray, and if you notice how quickly it just jumps between one app to another app, for example, like this, Chrome browser, it's always uh, a little bit slow. Uh, these are the settings and as you can see the phone is now pretty uh, fluid uh, one thing to notice that yes the phone has become very fluid now uh, but again uh, I won't say it's hundred percent lag free but again it's uh, pretty responsive that uh, most of the users will not notice any lag on their uh, LG G3 hopefully after making these small changes and uh, I have been testing this for about two days to make sure that it was stable let me actually go up uh, and show you let's go to about the device and if we go to hardware information as you can see my uptime is about 48 hours so it has been working fine without any crashes or something for about almost two days now so let me just go back and the lg g3 again let me uh, show you that uh, let's go to the hardware information the lg g3 i have is the uh, d855 version and it's specifically the 32 gig version that i have and to make it work you have to actually uh, enable the developer mode don't worry about it i'll show you the how to do the same just hit the software information and also there was an update by lg make sure that you have applied that it came sometime uh, in end of august and after that the version is v uh, 10 j again this will change based upon the country as i'm in india it shows ind and to enable the developer you have to just hit the hit the build a couple of times just tap in i'm already a developer it says but after uh, tapping it about seven or eight times it will enable the developer mode and if you just go back here now you'll have this new options called developer options just click on that and it will give you a warning don't worry we won't change a, uh, do a lot of changes and you have to switch it on when that is done you have to change the runtime from the default will be if you click here it shows the uh, runtime it will be dalvik and you need to change it to art again but do note that make sure that your uh, uh, lg g3 has enough uh, space because generally art can consume almost about 20 to 25 percent more space compared to dalvik runtime so it's a good idea to go to your storage uh, here and make sure that the available storage that you have uh, is pretty decent i would say anywhere around at least about 5 gb or so now this uh, lg g3 is fairly new hence i haven't installed a lot of apps hence i have a lot of space but make sure you have at least about 5 or gb of space available before you do this again let's just go back to our developer options and here from the runtime uh, choose the art runtime and apply that and make sure that your battery is adequately charged before doing this I would say at least about 80% or so once you do that it will reboot your device and it will take anywhere from about 15 to 20 minutes do not uh, disturb the phone and it will reboot and convert it from the Dalvik runtime to uh, what do you say art and this will take about 15 to 20 25 minutes based upon the number of apps that you have installed on your device and after that you would have noticed that the phone would have sped up a little bit but now uh, we can also make some further changes again go to the settings and again go to the developer options and here just scroll down a little bit and you have these three uh, things that is known as windows animation transition animation scale and animator duration scale default if you click here it will be on 1x you can reduce it to about 0.5x that overall speeds up the animation speed you can also switch it off if you don't like the animations thereby whenever you just click it will be instant but i feel this is a good point uh, uh, scaling it down to 0.5x you have to do it for all these three that is transition as you can see it's on 0.5x default will be on 1x and also do it for the animation duration scale to 0.5x and uh, once this is done uh, reboot your device once 
and it should be a little bit more responsive in general operations if you have done these things do let me know uh, and share your experience in the comments uh, below one thing to note is that by moving from dalvik to art you should be a little bit careful because not all the apps are, are compatible with art runtime so some apps might crash it hasn't happened to me all my pop popular apps are running but uh, i do know that some of the games i would just stress it's only some of the games are not compatible with uh, the art runtime and even some of the apps are not compatible so you need to be a little bit careful before moving from the dalvik runtime to the art runtime if your lg g3 is fairly new uh, it's a good idea to do this because you haven't installed the apps so thereby you'll know if any app is misbehaving with the art runtime also as i mentioned i'm using the international version of this lg g3 uh, this is the gsm version and it has been working fine i also tested it with one of my other friends who's using the lg g3 and again he's using the gsm version for him also it works fine but i've heard if you're using a verizon uh, model that is sold in us that has some issues from moving from uh, dalvik to art so if you're using a verizon based lg g3 i would not recommend this uh, procedure of moving from dalvik to art another thing that i noticed with my lg g3 after moving from dalvik to art is regarding the battery life i'm getting almost about 15% uh, better battery life with the art runtime compared to the dalvik runtime so that's it for this video on this lg g3 do share your experience in the youtube comments below and if you found this uh, video helpful i'll appreciate if you can click the like button and share this video with your friends thank you for watching this video this is ranjit and i hope to see you in my next video